Hey guys, it's Erin over here at The Eclectic Homeschooler. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a little tour of our homeschool room, so come check it out with me. Hey, I'm Erin, I'm a homeschooling mom of four kids, ages four to 11. And we have been homeschooling for the last six years. We're getting ready to start our seventh year. And I thought today would be a good day to walk you through our homeschool room and just kind of show you the setup that we have and things that work really good for us. And hopefully it'll help you out in planning your room or just to get some ideas of some things that might be helpful for you to incorporate into your homeschool as well. Now. When you think about homeschool room, a lot of times you think about a classroom that's set up kind of like a traditional school classroom where you might have desks and um, you know all the posters and things on the walls that you might have, especially in an elementary school classroom. But we really don't do that. Um, I say it's our homeschool room, but really it's just where we keep all of our supplies. We don't actually use our homeschool room for doing hardly any of our schoolwork. Most of our work takes place at the kitchen table where we do things together as a family or on the couch when we're reading together or outside when it's really nice out. Um, so really our homeschool room is just a place where we keep all of our supplies and things handy and organized so we know where things are when we need them. I'd love to hear from you. Do you have a room set up where you do school or are you a little bit more like us where you do school just kind of throughout the house, wherever is comfortable at the time? Comment below and let me know what you do for your homeschool setup. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let me turn this around. Let's start off with the most important thing for homeschoolers. These are our bookshelves. I got them from Ikea. These are the Billy bookshelves. I kind of have them organized a little bit with like biographies and things like that up on the top shelf. And then I have historical fiction and things like that. And then here's a lot of our history books that we use, working our way down to science. And we have over here a lot of our um, historical coloring books that we use and some early reader books that we have some old um, curriculum and things. Up here I have some of our curriculum that we use as well as Bible reference and character study type books up there that we go through. Down here I've got um, some art and music books. In the middle is language stuff and then things like geography and some civics and world culture. And then we work our way down to some just uh, chapter books that our kids read through or that we've done as read alouds. And then normally um, our bottom shelf is normally full of library books, but our libraries have been closed until like about a week ago. I love to hear about what other people do for storage for their books and supplies and things like that. So tell me in the comments below, do you have a library like this? Do you have more books? Do you have less books? And then our United States scratch off map. We would scratch them off as we learned about each state so the kids would know what we've learned about. And then this is our storage bins that pull out. We have our flags, glue and scissors and things like that that are up high so our three-year-old can't get into them. Colored pencils and pens, markers, and then another one that's all crayons. So I like these because I can grab them easily and just bring them out to the dining table when we're working on stuff and the kids can all reach in and grab them. The ones down here on the bottom, each kid has two bins. They have one that has um, workbooks and chapter books and things that they're working on currently so they know where to go every time they're done with the lesson they put their book back there so we know where it is every time and then they also have what we call their done bin so this is where they put all of their um, worksheets or just sketches and coloring sheets and different things obviously my son here is, loves to draw comics so he's got a lot of that kind of stuff in there um, so they put those away just to keep and then we go through those later and figure out what we want to keep and file away um, for our school um, stuff that we keep for each school year for the kids so each of our three boys has two bins each and that's where we keep them all works really good on 
the other side of the room. I absolutely love this clothesline. It has little clips on it that I just hang up the artwork that the kids do and we rotate those out when they do new artwork. This shelf is the Calax system from Ikea and I absolutely love it. I like that it has a couple cabinet doors that I can hide things away. I'll show you what's in here. So this one just has some like science type kits. And then we have our globe, which you need as a homeschool family, of course. And then over in this bin, these are really cool paint dauber things that I got on Amazon. They have all the different colors. And I love that these ones are washable and it came with a little activity book. So she likes to get these out and work with these sometimes. And then I also just have some more like science kit type things. Down here we have some of her just Montessori type activities, puzzle things. And then we have these felt boards. One's dinosaurs and one is space that she can rearrange the figures the way she likes them. Block puzzles for her and she loves these water wow activities. These are all good activities that we get out while we're doing schoolwork at the table that she can participate in the schoolwork as a family. These are some just like math things. The geo board that you put rubber bands on to make different shapes and stuff like that. And then this that you can figure out the answer and then you push it down and it shows you your answer. So you can check to see if you're correct. Or these are Matthew C. Um, math, I can't remember what they're called, um, tiles or blocks. One of my kids' favorite things that they love to work with is this magnet board that has all these different shaped tiles and they can move them around and just build whatever they want. It has a bunch of different cards with ideas of patterns and things to try to make. That's another great um, quiet time activity. In these bins we have magnet tiles. They're really neat. The kids like to to build different stuff with that. They're also really cool to stick on the windows and then the sun shines through them and they're kind of like stained glass. So those are fun. Here, <laughs> a bunch of dinosaurs. Our youngest boy loves dinosaurs, so he's got a whole bin of stuff. These are another magnet type of thing. They're called Smart Max. They're just a ball and rods, and then you can build all different kinds of shapes, three-dimensional shapes with them. They're really fun. And then in here, we just have Duplos. So all of those things are just fun and easy to get to, but lots of pieces. I like to keep them stored away in these bins. This is a magnet board. It's actually just an oil change drip pan from the hardware store. Painted it with chalkboard paint. I just put these alphabet letter magnets on them. I have a whiteboard up here too. Are you a good girl? This we call our craft closet. This is what it looks like. I have these plastic storage drawers that we just got like at Fred Meyer. This one has all the perler bead type stuff that the boys like to do. Felt and embroidery floss and things like that. Some stickers and things like that in that one. Again, just some miscellaneous like craft stuff. So we've got pom poms and those things. <laughs> and then down here I've got a bunch of beads. These are water beads. If you haven't done these, these are really fun. You put like a tablespoon and a couple cups of water and you just let them soak and they expand and turn into this kind of like ball that you can kind of squish a little bit. That's a, a neat sensory activity. Down here in our bottom drawer, okay guys, pro tip real quick. This in the top of this drawer is our messy mat. It is just one of those vinyl tablecloths that you can get. We get it out anytime we're doing any kind of painting project or glitter especially or play-doh um, or things like that that we don't want to get all over the table. And then when they're done, it's so easy to just take it outside and shake it out so it's easy to clean up after any kind of mess. Seriously, if you don't have one of these, get one already. Moving our way up, we've got some more bins just with different colored construction paper and the top one's got some origami paper and stuff like that in there. And then this one is our bin of paint supplies, handcraft type activities in here. This is a whole bin full of just different flashcards. This one's got our Play-Doh in it. I like to do homemade Play-Doh because it makes a lot, it's cheap, and it lasts forever. And then the next one down here has got a bunch of stamps and things in there. I love these. Um, these are actually uh, laminated placemats that I got on Amazon. And they have one side, they've got 
all the states on them. And then the other side's blank. So this is what we use to learn geography. The kids get it out and they write their states on there. I have our laminator and our laminating pouches and just printer like labels and things like that up there. Extra colored crayons and pencils and watercolor pencils and things like that up there. And then the other ones are just like my supplies with extra um, office supply stuff. So that is our craft closet. And then one other very important feature in our homeschool room is our keyboard. This is something that we just got this year for Christmas, we bought for the kids. The piano is about the only subject that we actually do in the schoolroom, and let me tell you, it is in use pretty much all day long. We've been using the Simply Piano app for piano lessons for all three of the boys, as well as my husband and myself have been doing it as well. And I have a video here that's a review of that app if that's something that you want to check out for your family. If you come out here to our living room, this is all full of puzzles and games. It's not very organized right now because the kids put them back in. So there you have it. That is our homeschool room. I hope you enjoyed this little tour through our room. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this, as well as a lot of tips and tricks about homeschooling, ways to simplify and find enjoyment and fulfillment in your role as a homeschool mom and with your kids as a homeschool family. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.